Hello, today I'll be continuing the troubleshooting series that I'm doing for Mac following this flowchart here. And today I'll be talking about the activity monitor, how to, utilize, how to utilize the activity monitor in troubleshooting. So the first step would be obviously to open up activity monitor. And then it'll pull up a window just like this. The two most useful tabs in activity monitor, in my opinion, are CPU and memory. I use them quite frequently when it comes to troubleshooting. It gives you a great look at what is happening on your computer right now and what resources are being used by those processes right now on your computer. And so if you look on your CPU, this shows how much work your processor is doing and what process is using up those resources of your processor. And so you can sort by percent CPU to pull up the processes with the, the greatest percentage. And you'll see up here, I have a couple with uh, about 30% uh, CPU. This is a kernel task. This one is actually related to my lack of battery. My MacBook Air is old and the battery is dead and is no longer recognized on my computer. And so that's what this kernel task is related to. Um, but here we go. Quick time player. This is, that's what I'm using to record the screen. And so obviously it is using up a good chunk of my CPU. What you're looking for in here is a process. Sometimes they'll be marked in red if they're stalled if the computer recognizes them as being stalled or using up a lot of your cpu it'll actually flag the the font color of the process in red and you can go ahead and select it and quit the process now be very careful to look at where the process is coming from i do not recommend closing out of processes from the root in fact a lot of times it won't even let you do that um, but just look for your username right here's my username and so those kind of processes are okay to close out of those would be like your applications and so that's a good step if your CPU is if your computer is going really slow to look for what's using up your processor perhaps it's an app that you can just uninstall and get rid of and that will solve your problems uh, the other tab is memory this is your RAM uh, how much RAM you have temporary memory and so you can again sort by memory to see what is hogging up all of your memory um, if there's any that seems really large I mean you have some for example my computer has eight gigabytes of memory and so anything using up four five six gigabytes of my memory is using up over half of the memory that I have that would be a large application that I would consider closing out of because that will be slowing down my computer right now you can see there's that kernel task again because of my battery but here is Adobe Illustrator um, that is a large program, and so it is using up 300 megabytes, which is a decent amount for an application, but it is also a large application. You can also see in here, these are tabs that I have open in Safari, mba.com, for example. Uh, it shows up right here, so you can actually see which tabs are using up a lot of memory as well, and you can know if you need to close out of those tabs. But again, you can always close out of processes using this stop sign right here. And it says, are you sure you want to close this? You can quit it, or you can also force quit it if it is non-responsive. And then if you go back into Safari, you'll see that a problem has occurred, so it was reloaded. And so that way you can force it to reload itself if there is any problem. So a lot of the issues you're looking for with Activity Monitor are processes that are running out of control. It has really high memory use. It has really high CPU use. Those are kind of red flags that something is going on and those processes need to be stopped. So that does it for Activity Monitor. Quick overview. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below of what other troubleshooting tips you'd like to see for the Mac. And I'll talk to you in the next one.